Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I want to talk to you guys about my cornrows underneath this scarf or satin cap. Yeah, I've had these braids in. I've had them in so long to where I had to go back to my videos and see when I posted the video because I actually French braided my hair on camera, but that doesn't mean that I French braided that doesn't mean the day I posted it doesn't mean the day I French braided. So I looked at my file for that day and it said December 22nd. Now guys, today is February 18th, 2019. And I calculated, I think today is, today is the 58th day that I've had these cornrows in my head. Now, you're probably wondering, well, Nezzy, you look like a wolf for the last few videos. And we, we are just so afraid to know what you're going to look like when you take that cap off. And you should be afraid. You should be very afraid. But I'm going to show you my hair underneath this satin cap. Yeah, guys, look at these cornrows. I had seven cornrows. Now, I don't know how many I got now, but they have melted <laughs> into my hair. Now, guys, this is some broke off hair that's growing back, so don't trip off the perimeter, but that, that has grown too. So, since my hair has been braided, many things have happened. You want to know what happened? Well, my hair is matted. I have at least one inch of hair growth because my hair grows on the, on the average of a half of inch each month. So if we go from December to January, that's one, and then January to February, that's two. And yeah, so in four days, it'll be February 22nd. But, you know, anyway, so 58 days. It's almost two whole months of pure woofiness. How have I been wearing my hair? I've been wearing my hair in head wraps. I'm a head wrap queen. Wigs. And when I go to work, I'll wear my hair with a satin bonnet and then my skull cap. Because it's easier for me to um, put that on like that. Because if I wear a wig all day at work, I am going to snap on somebody. Because my head going to be squeezing. It's going to be squeezing real tight. And I don't need all that tension on my head. So I like for my head to be relaxed. But I have worn my wigs a few times to work. And people say, you look so cute. I'm like, well, what do I look like without that wig? What do I look like if I take this cap off? What, what would you say then? They probably say, uh-uh. I'm a public bus driver, so they probably say, I'm getting off the bus. I'm going to go to the, I'm going to catch the next bus. You go head on, wolf woman. You go head on. What is this here? What is that? Ooh, it looks like some breakage. I have been scratching. That looks like some breakage right here. I see something. I can't get it. This right here. Yep, that looks like breakage. Because my head been itching. And usually, usually when I scratch, I usually scratch ball spots. So this is probably... Hair that broke off or hair that grew back. But this is very, this is very common for me to do to myself. Scratch, 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 bald spots. Mm. I talk about it a lot in my videos. But if you ever wonder why you got those little short spots in your hair and uh, why you got bald spots, it's pro probably because the weather's changing or your scalp is itchy and dry and you just scratch, scratch, scratch. And I remember scratching right here. Okay. So what's this? How are we going to fix this? Yeah, a little bit of breakage. I ain't gonna worry about it. I've had so many of these spots in my head, they, they just grow back and blend in with the rest of the hair. Okay, so what do I do next with this hair? I'm gonna have to take these braids down. I'm gonna have to take them down like today. How do I take them down? I usually use, I saturate my hair with water and a moisturizer so that it can, you know, soften the hair and I take a comb and I hmm, pick through. But it's gonna be a task because I think they've met it up. These probably are really are some dreadlocks and I just don't know it yet. Maybe one day I should just twist my hair up and let it dread on up and just let my sorrows and problems go away. But yeah, so I just wanted to show you my hair, what it looks like after 58 days of growth and craziness. There goes a part. There goes a part. Mm -hmm. Scalp looks clean. Now I did shampoo it. I co-washed it back in February one time. Normally, I don't shampoo my hair 
when I have my hair in braids, unless I'm exercising and I have not been exercising like I'm supposed to be. All right. So you guys want to see my wig collection. Maybe I'll show you that. And I have decided that I have everything situated in my house to where I don't ever have to look like a crazy woman when I leave my house. My house is set up for beauty. You know, I'm like, you need to take advantage of it. So, yeah, guys, I think that is it for right now. Um, I got some videos lined up. I need to do, I need to do, God, it's hard for me to get out this bed today. <sighs> All right. Um, so that's it for now. And I will see you guys in the next video. Ooh, girl, you look rough. Bye-bye. Hey, guys, and welcome back to my channel. On today's video, do I need to get up a little bit closer? Let me see. Let's get closer. Let's get closer. Okay, I think I'm ready. Hey, guys, and welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I am going to talk to you about my woofy braids and i've had these braids in since december 22nd 2018 and today is february the 18th 2019 alexa how many days is it from november 22nd 2018 to two to february 19 2019 this year february has 20 stop days. Stop. Delete. Cut it. No. Shut up. That's wrong. <laughs> okay. I said that all wrong to her. I threw her off. You have to be very specific with her. Anyway, I calculated that my hair has been braided for 58 days as of today. And I wanted to show you guys what my hair looks like. And, and I want to show you guys my hair, what it looks like today. And I couldn't... Uh, I don't know where I'm going with this video. What am I doing with my life?